Yeah, we just designed uh, 3D printed CO2 dragsters. That the students used a program called Tinkercad to design their cars. I like this project a lot because when they start out, they have to think creatively about their car, but they're also limited by parameters of the size of the car, making sure that the axles and wheels and the eye hook screws are all going to fit into the car. And with those small parameters, they can kind of design whatever they want. So you can either do the fastest car, the best design. I didn't win best design, but that's what I was going for. I'm very proud of the paint job. That's really what I wanted to do. I was kind of playing around with a lot of shapes, but I got this idea for pyramids in the 3D design platform upon each other. And you could see is this uh, frill here. Pretty much I put that shape inside of my tube and that's how all the design on the outside came to be. Hello. Go. With all the projects we do, they're all open-ended and very rarely will I ever show them the final product that they're going to create because if you do that, everyone in the class will make that thing that you showed them. Whether it's catapults or CO2 dragsters or earthquake towers or fine woodworking, students have to design the solution completely on their own. And at the very end, you can look around and see what everybody had a completely different idea of what makes the solution. And I think that's what this class should be about. It's about using your hands, about problem solving and realizing that there's not one you know, set of instructions to get to the, the solution in the end. After this, guys, we are in the semifinals. It's going to be Emily versus Jaden. We pretty much just had a competition about who had the best car design and who had the fastest car. So I had the fastest car. I won against everybody except for Mr. Murphy. My favorite part today has been the racing in general. I was really proud of how my car did, even though I lost, because I thought I wouldn't even finish. The learning is so authentic and so tangible that I wouldn't trade it for anything. Go! Go!